Celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. Residents of Oshogbo, the Oshun State Capital, stay with the indoor to celebrate this year Democracy Day over speculations that violence may accompany the day. In Oshogbo, shops and markets were under lock and keys and major streets were deserted. Security operatives were seen as strategic area in the state capital to ensure that the state is peaceful and violence-free. Despite warning of the Osho State Police Command that there should not be any form of protest in the state, the coalition of Osho State Civil Societies took to the streets to protest against the challenges facing the nation. The protesters converged on Okifia in Oshogo, marching through major streets in the state capital chanting solidarity songs. Some of the protesters speaking, Wahid Saka lamented on the security situation of the country, calling on government at all levels to find a lasting solution to it as a matter of urgency. We did appreciate the president when he declared this day because it's our struggle. It has been our struggle for the recognition of FK Abiola as the president elect of this country. Now, the president did that, but we cannot continue to sit on those such rhetorics. The essence of June 12 was abolition of poverty, and poverty pervaded the land. Bwari and the current administration to do more and tell people that they can truly abolish our poverty through the program of MKO. That is why we continue to demand. If we have that uh, abolition of poverty now, and we say our people are no longer poor, our people are no longer going to bed without food, then we can thank Mr. President. But for the current June 12 has uh, and neglect the core value of June 12, which is a position of poverty. This government is not doing well. They were not just late. Uh, after they have uh, been in the prayer of this oppression to suppress it, and today we are not having any protest. We are here to join civil society, and we believe we are part of the civil society. We are the largest people in Nigeria as a student. We hold the largest world. It shows that we are solidarizing many of what happened in Nigeria on June 12. Khadija Abdulaziz, ABN TV News, Oshun State, Nigeria.